Hi everybody and thanks for joining me and in this video we're going to go over a couple of the new features that you're going to notice in the new Google Calendar. Now Google released a lot of these features back in October and unless you upgraded to the new calendar on your own with your consumer account you may not have seen these changes. But starting on January 8th rapid release users in school districts will see this calendar right away and if your school district is on a scheduled release you'll see these features show up on January 15th. Some of the things that you're going to notice, uh, first of all, are that whenever you add events to your calendar, you're going to see a much more rich and inviting design. For instance, on this dinner and a movie, I can see that there's a little artwork that's been added that makes it just a little bit more interesting to view. But in addition to that, if you've scheduled meetings, one of the things that you're going to find, Google Calendar has made it so that meeting participants can prepare for meetings much easier than they used to. For instance, on this meeting, I have added attachments such as an agenda to the meeting and instead of having to actually open that event and look at it to get to those attachments they're right here and I can click on them and open them right away and it's much easier and I can I can be prepared more than I had before in addition you're going to notice also that there is a new view added to the calendar now on this calendar here I have a lot of different things to look at and you may remember that in the classic view of Google Calendar, things kind of overlapped and got in the way of each other. So Google responding to that has created a new view called Day View. And so if you've got multiple calendars to look at like I do, Day View allows you to see those side by side as opposed to being overlapped. And so in this case where I have events scheduled for myself versus the professional development calendar and other events with other people, Instead of those being on top of the, each other and layered, they are now side by side in the day view. And I like that view much more than, say, for instance, the schedule view um, that a lot of people may be used to. But schedule view is also a lot cleaner and more inviting to look at. So you're also going to notice that in your district, for instance, if you have resource rooms set up and there are resources available in that room, such as audio and video, you'll be able to mouse over those and the details will pop up so that you can see them. And one of the best features that I've found is that previously you may remember that to turn a calendar on and off, you would click on it and it would either change from a solid color, uh, which would mean that that calendar is lit or on, um, to a white icon, um, which would indicate that it was off. And a lot of people were confused by that. So what they've done is instead of just putting a solid color or a white box. They've now put a check mark in that color box to let you know that that calendar is now active. So the addition of that check mark allows you to know which calendars are turned on and off. Um, you're also going to notice that when you're switching back and forth between, say, for instance, um, a full screen view to a more minimized view, the calendar is also a little bit more responsive. So it still allows you to see the features that you need to see a lot more easily. For instance, if I go to this week view and then minimize this calendar down a little bit, um, the design of Google Calendar responds to those changes. So if you have not played with it or if you have not upgraded, get ready um, because it may be coming your way, especially if your school has that calendar set to be released on rapid release on Monday. And take a look at um, my previous article that talks about some of these changes and hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.